Hello storyboarders, my name is Eric and today I'm going to show you how to make a table worksheet using one of Storyboard That's pre-made templates. So let's get started. Now first we're going to pick out a template that we like. We have a lot of really nice fun options. I think I'm going to go with this one with the flowers. So all you have to do is click the copy template button that's right below and this will bring us directly into the Storyboard creator which will then prompt us to give our template a name. You can name yours whatever you would like. I'm just going to call mine template one and click continue. All right, now it's time for us to customize our template. This is where we get to add characters, items, update text, add scenes, whatever it is that we want to do. So first I would like to add a character. Now I have these nice flowers, so I think I'm gonna add a farmer. So let's go up to our characters menu. And if we search under the jobs category, we should be able to find a farmer. All right, great, we have two options here. So I'm gonna go with this one. So all we have to do is drag and drop our character into the scene. And now we get to customize them. This is where we get to update facial expressions, change their pose, colors, whatever it is we would like to do. So I am gonna click the randomize color button. Now you can select the colors manually, or if you hit randomize color, it will select any one of these color options completely at random. And you know what, I like that first option a lot, so let's go with this. When you're all set, just click Update Pose, and there's our character. Now, we can move them anywhere we want in our storyboard, as well as change their size. All you have to do is drag the corner of the image, and there we go. All right, now next is Items. Now, you can browse the Items category right here, or if there's a specific item that you want, you can search in the upper right-hand search menu. Now, I think on this side, I'd like to add some produce. I like the flowers, but we're going to leave them here, and let's get rid of them on this side. So if we select, you'll notice that these are actually all grouped together. So what you can do is you can either just delete it, or you can click ungroup if you want to save any of them. But I think I actually want to just delete them all. So if I go back and click undo, all right, now they are still grouped. Um, so if you ever make any mistakes or move anything that you don't want to move, instead of trying to replace that image or move it back ever so slightly. Uh, just click undo and you should be good to go. So we have these regrouped again and we're just gonna delete. And let's add in some fun produce. All right, let's pick out some things. We have some broccoli. Just drag and drop like your character and I'm gonna resize. Let's add in some corn. Just like our broccoli, we're gonna resize this. And let's put in some fruit. Let's grab an apple. All right, make that a little bit smaller. Now I could go through and drag down fruit or copy and fill in this whole thing, or I can make a pattern out of this and select these three things, go to a right hand menu and select copy. And now I have a whole new set of what these fruits and veggies were. All right. I think that works. All right, I like that. Now next is the background. Now you can edit and change any of the pre-existing background designs. Just select the item and let's change the color. All right, I think that's okay, but I would like to add a scene. So maybe a farming scene would be nice. So let's delete this pre-existing design and search in our scenes menu. And if you go over to country and rustic, we should have a nice few options. All right, I like this pasture. I think this looks pretty good. So let's just drag this down. And let's reposition this and let's go to stretch to fill. All right, now I'm gonna click crop to fill so I don't warp anything. And it might not be able to see everything here because we do have a text box in the way. So let's see how that looks. We're gonna click okay. And when our with our scene in place, we're gonna send this all the way to the back. And there we go. Now I think that looks pretty good. If anything, it's a little bright. So one trick that I use for my storyboards is I go to the patterns category in the scenes and I grab a low opacity scene and I make it white. So I'm gonna drag this gray down. I'm gonna change the color to white. Now you can use any one of these pre-selected colors, but I want white, so I'm gonna select this color box and grab the white right here. All right, now I have my color and I am going to just go to crop to fill like before. 
let's select this one. Okay. Now we have this uh, low opacity white in the way, which is what we want, but we're going to go send it all the way to the back and bring it forward one. So send it all the way to the back. And if we bring it forward one, it should be in front of our farm scene. And if we move this over just a little bit, wrong item, you can see the difference. It's not much, but it helps to put the emphasis on our text and not so much on the background image. So let's undo that move. And there we go. Now, last but not least is text boxes. Now you can edit any of the pre-existing text boxes and put in your own words. Uh, so let's change the title of this to Farming Made Simple. Now farming is not simple, but the more we learn about it, the simpler it is, and the easier it is that we understand. Now I'd like to change this font as well. So to do so, just highlight the text you wanna change, go over to our text editor, and let's go with something that feels a little bit more appropriate for this template. Let me go with this font, and let's make this really big to fill the space better. I think 60 point should look good. All right, in fact, let's make that even bigger. Let's go to 90. All right, perfect. Now, just like characters, you can move text boxes anywhere you want in your storyboard as well as resize them. So I'm gonna move this direction text box to line it up and let's move this header too. So it's nice and organized. Now, when you're all done with your template, all you have to do is click the orange save and exit button in the bottom right hand corner. And that is how you make a table worksheet using Storyboard That. All right, thanks for watching and happy storyboarding.